Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for June, not July, June 26th and 27th for my Geminis. Hello, my Geminis. Okay, so Wednesday and Thursday, I use my Bradley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not re resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay? Now, I did post my um, longer readings for July. It's the entire month of July. July is going to be wild energy, so I do have a bit of a section in there, about 12 minutes talking about those energies. But I, did, I do tell you how to bypass it if you don't want to listen. But I do recommend that you do listen. Yeah, you don't have to do it all at once, though. So let's go here. We have three cards down. Nothing is reversed. So what's going to happen, or what's the energies like for our Wednesday and Thursday? Here we go, first card. Peace. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Peace. Archangel Azrael. Archangel energy. I already feel like, you know, as I pull this up, I feel like my breath, you know, I'm feeling like, you know, when I start reading, I get very excited and I feel very, you know, connected with everybody. And then when I pulled this card up, I felt like, oh, I can breathe again. I can breathe. I can take a breath. And I think that this is what you need. You need some of this time to take a breath. You know, you have been going through a lot of a lot of stuff. And now it's like, you know, you feel, okay, I'm a little more settled. I feel like I can, at least for today, take a breath. This is release the past. There is a more enriching future um, coming. Let go and let God. I love this card. This is a beautiful card. And I love that you get this card. Next card up. King of Raphael. Now, in this deck, Raphael is representing water. So that's our Cancer. We're in Cancer right now. Our Scorpio, our Pisces, it's about fluidity. It's about emotions. And the king is the sovereign ruler. He, you know, he is in charge. He's the big guy. This one is warm, generous, honorable, and refined. Yes, it's safe to trust. Oh my goodness, so peace. It's safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. So, you know, this is like things are, things are, you know, coming to, you're, you're letting go of that past. This Wednesday, Thursday is going to be kind of a, I can think now, what do I want for my future? What do I want to be when I grow up? You know, you, you can have those thoughts again. And the thing is though, you know, keep the melancholy out. Okay. Look at this as, you know, whether, you know, what, look at this with excitement. You know, sometimes people, you know, people might be in their, you know, at any age. They could be my age, you know, they could be older, they could be, and they're like, oh, you know, I've done, you know, it's too late to start over. It is never too late to start over. And I don't know who needed to hear that. It is never too late. It is never, okay? Never, ever, ever. As long as we have breath in our bodies. It is never too late. Last card, the five of Michael. Now, Michael is your energy in this deck, air energy, along with our Libra and Aquarius. It's our Wi-Fi. Sometimes it's those unbidden thoughts, okay? Sometimes it's that anxiety. Sometimes it's that worry. This is the situation doesn't serve you. Uh, release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So basically, it go, to me, this goes back to that releasing the past, going forward, saying, you know, it's never too late. I can start over. This is about, you know, that, that does not serve you. And if you are still in that, it's not serving you. Let it go so you can go forward, okay? It's never too late to start over. I like that for you, my Geminis. So, my Geminis, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.